Hey, Ace on Knives. Doing um, Sativians this week. So I got my two Sativians here that I like a lot. I, I don't like the, what is that called, Jade? I don't like that on this one. But I do like the, the color, the hints of color and the, and the contouring and the scales. Obviously love the action and everything else about this knife. This knife, the action on this knife is just really phenomenal. And then this is, I think, the ST-124 with the axis lock. And um, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's good. It's really good for what it is. But I, I don't. I don't love the, the blade style, I guess. It's got like this weird hump here, so whatever. But the interview, the interview, the review is not about that. The, re the review is going to be about, and let me do this. This knife I'm getting ready to pull out here. Well, yeah. I'm going to have to freeze frame. I'm back. So that knife right there is going to be a contributor to this review. This just got real busy. Sorry about that. Let's put these away. I can put this away now because I was looking for my crag. Normally I keep my crag in my top eight knife roll, but it got bumped. So now we are going to address what's in this box. Now, this knife blew me away. Whenever it's the ST138, the size of this knife is crazy. It's got 14C28 end steel. So now mo this is Sativian week. So most of the Sativians that I'm I, I I purchased are going to have the best blade steel I could possibly get on a Sativian. I tried to stay away from the D2. I tried to stay away from the 98CR. That stuff. So this has got good blade steel. Now, I was really surprised by the size of that stinker. It really caught me off guard. So I believe my crag is as, be as big of a pocket knife as I want. I see these guys and they got these big old, I don't know, hockey puck looking knives. And the blade comes out and it's like a big old chunker looking thing. Yeah, I no bueno for me. This is as big as I go, and I like this knife a lot. You know, it's the CJRB Crag with uh, carbon fiber and all that. It's got the AR, RPM9, steel, whatever. So this is the ST138. It's got micarta, and this micarta is very textured. It's, you know, so I'm going to probably min mineral spirit this. Now, I mineral spirited my... Guys, if you recall, I did a review on this knife, and I cut myself, as I typically do. There was a drop of blood right there. Mineral spirits took it away. Mineral spirits will give like a kind of a wear to your to your micarta without ruining it. It just kind of and it cleans it. It cleaned that blood spot right out of that micarta on this penguin. All right, let's get to it. So this knife right here is just crazy can you so it's got this like black stone wash kind of thing going on all the way down to the flipper on the blade it looks to me so much like a <clears throat> like a utility knife and that's what i'm going to use this bad boy for i mean look at this it's got a, a great finger twirl here this knife was meant to get down to business now is this a comfortable grip when you choke up? No, because this is so fat right here and it's making my pinky feel like it's left alone. Yeah, I don't like that. So if it was me, I would have maybe, I would have maybe done something a little different on the grip so that you could get a good handle on it. But man alive, side by side, that's a big knife. 
Now it's not that much bigger. See how like what I was talking about with the handle though, CJRB, they knew. They were like, hey, when when but their finger choil is not as big as this one. It's not as comfortable either. I like this pocket clip. It's it fits. It fits the knife. You know, so this thing is on bearings, and watch it just drops, and it drops solid. Let me shut my mouth so you can hear it. Yeah. I like this knife a lot. I am, I mean, it is not something that I would like carry like for, you know, for any kind of event or whatever, like out. It's not that kind of knife for me, but that this knife is going to be on my workbench. Ah, coffee. I love coffee. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this is about the coolest thing and it is the ST 138 and it was $29 with 14 C 28 and steel bearings, micarta. It's not a deep carry pocket. It's not reversible. So it is what it is right there. Sorry, lefties, but the drop on this thing is really great, man. It's fantastic. Yeah. So let me throw one more knife that I had out the penguin next to this. That should help. And then let's get one more knife out that, that all you guys like a lot. The Rat 1. You know, because Rat 1 historically is taller than most knives in this whole EDC pocket knife world right now. It's a pretty tall knife. Yeah, so yeah, I'm... I, I really like how it's fitting in there. I do. Okay, so let's get this crap out of here. We just did our size comparisons. And let's show you a close-up of this knife right here. Guys, I think it's really cool. I think it's super cool. And the action, it's just centered in this fat little compartment. The flip action is so easy. I, did, I haven't tried any other flips because this is such a... Yeah, I, it's a heavy blade, guys. The detent is really not probably strong enough for me to get a reverse flick, so I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Guys, try this ST138 out. If you're looking for a, a, light, a, a pretty chunky bad boy to work with, I think this would be a fantastic work knife. Say you're a big dude and working in the warehouse and you're gonna open up boxes and do cut straps and do all kinds of stuff like that, you know, and then go out behind the warehouse and have your fight club night, knife fight. You. I don't know if this is a good idea to take to a knife fight. It just doesn't seem like it's meant for that. All right, guys, I'm out.